Welcome back to our budget analysis. The budget on the face of it should have been actually positive for bonds and hence for banking stocks too. It has after all brought the fiscal deficit down to 4.9% but bond prices, uh, bond yields actually fell very marginally. Maybe one or two basis points in the OIS market, maybe five basis points. But banking stocks actually fell very sharply. To understand the budget better, from these two and other angles, I have with me Ashish Gupta, the CIO, Axis AMC. Ashish, uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, uh, I'm going to start with something which was not in the intro. The FNDO uh, Securities, STT, has been raised marginally. I mean, it couldn't have been raised more, I guess, zero. I think it is 0.0625% uh, on options and that has become now 0.1. Does this move the needle at all? I think uh, it's a step in the right direction, but I think in isolation, uh, it is uh, not going to be adequate uh, to what the regulators are looking to achieve. Um, and I think multiple regulators, as well as finance ministry, has spoken about uh, needing to curb the excessive speculation that is there in this area. And I'm sure they will be looking at measures to do that. Uh, but I think as a signaling tool, uh, the increase in STT also achieves the same purpose. Uh, but in isolation, it will not be adequate. Uh, would something more have been done, for instance, for uh, gains made on uh, FNDO uh, trades, uh, a higher uh, uh, short-term capital gains tax? Uh, of course, the argument has been that many hardly any of them make gains. But there is a counterparty which is making gains. Uh, sure. The government could have gone after them? Sure. So I think uh, 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 then it becomes really an ideological issue as well that if you are looking at uh, different aspects of capital market income and treating them very differently. So I think uh, uh, there are other measures the regulators can look at uh, really uh, this is not something uh, 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 that needs to be solved only through taxation. Okay. Uh, so there are other measures that can come in mm. and uh, really curb uh, speculation and excessive mm. detail participation. Okay. Yeah, we have, of course, got the SEBI committee, uh, of which you are a part of as well, and uh, the SEBI's consultation paper is awaited. Uh, yes. broadly from what is already available in the public domain, can you tell us what we should be expecting? Uh, I would assume a higher uh, lot size is definitely on the cards. Anything else? So I think uh, 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 that is in discussion with SEBI. So I would uh, actually let SEBI come out with a discussion paper and really take it up then. Uh, so it okay. would not be appropriate on my part to kind of uh, okay. second guess there. Fair enough. But you have no inkling as to when we might expect something from SEBI? Uh, no. no. So okay. I think uh, uh, it should be in a few weeks is my guess. Okay. Okay. Anyway, your job was to recommend, I guess, uh, and then it's, uh, uh, it's on SEBI's table. Okay, now let me come to the fiscal deficit uh, reduction. It's a fairly substantial reduction. The market was deeply divided. There were uh, at least as many number of people who thought it will be retained at 5.1% since the government would have large expenses at least for its two ally states, uh, Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. And so there was an argument that it would be 5.1. 4.9 is a pleasant surprise. But bond markets have reacted only marginally. What's your sense? Sure. Where are yields headed and why a muted reaction? Sure. So I think, uh, first of all, I think uh, uh, really this for the uh, first budget after the election. So I think it was uh, quite important to see the direction. And I think the market uh, broadly has taken comfort from the fact that uh, despite uh, uh, this being a coalition government, there mm. is no change uh, and there is consistency and continuity in the approach the government has followed. Okay. So, if you uh, look, they are firmly on the path of fiscal consolidation. Uh, the budget deficit has come down and uh, part of it is uh, uh, really attributable to the uh, additional dividend they got from RBI. And they have actually used that not uh, to really increase the expenditure, 
but to go further on the path of fiscal consolidation. So they have used uh, the excess gain to really a, a, mm. a, a, a reduce the deficit. Uh, the reason uh, I think uh, bond market has not uh, reacted more positively on this is primarily because the net borrowing target has not come down commensurately. Mm. So yep. uh, while the budget deficit has come down, uh, there has been some reduction uh, in, in the amount of financing that is coming from the small saving schemes, and therefore the total um, uh, and and also of treasury bill. So if you see uh, the amount of supply expected to come in the bond market, that number has not changed materially. Yes. And uh, consequently, I think uh, uh, there has been muted reaction on the bond market no, I... towards the fiscal deficit number. Okay, no, I take your point. I, I think it was 4.10 lakh crore gross borrowing. It has become 4.01 lakh crore. So it's all of 9,000 crore less. I, one would have thought that with... 20 basis points reduction, you know, something like 50, 60,000 crore can, could have been reduced, which is not the case. I take your point on that, but uh, would you, as a uh, you know fixed income uh, viewer now, believe that maybe the government will give up on some of its borrowing in uh, calendar 2025? Uh, it has also been very uh, conservative in its assessment of uh, tax growth. I think it's just like under 11%. So, is there a chance that they will do better on taxes? If you look at the April-July numbers, the tax growth is between 12 and 22 percent. So, is yes. there a conservatism there? There is also higher LTCG that they will collect, higher STT that they will collect. Yes. Is there a chance of an overshoot and therefore, uh, you know, less borrowing? Yes. No, uh, I think uh, uh, I find the budget maths very, very realistic and very credible. Uh, so, okay. if you uh, look at uh, uh, the buoyancy in tax revenues overall, it's been expected at about uh, uh, 110% of the GDP growth. Uh, so, I think it's a, a realistic number. Uh, uh, if you see a, the uh, direct tax collection uh, you spoke about in the first few months, they have been uh, actually running uh, ahead of estimates. Yes. But indirect uh, tax collections have actually softened, right? And uh, in fact, uh, um, in the budget estimates, therefore, you see that recalibration as well, uh, that oh, there has been softening on the uh, indirect taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, certainly, capital gains and STT collections have been bumped up uh, or are likely to be higher. But uh, that has been the purpose towards uh, 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 some uh, uh, boost uh, uh, for uh, taxation for the... Uh, 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 relatively yeah. uh, higher standard income. deduction. Yeah, fair yes. enough. Higher standard deduction, I guess. So, so that uh, largely nets off, right? So, okay. so whatever you get in high cap gain, you have given tax breaks on okay. income tax. Okay. All right. So what you see is what you get. You're saying there is no conservatism there. Uh, let me come to the and, uh, one where so, I... Sorry. Yeah. Just uh, on that, I think where the surprise can come and where the government may undershoot the borrowing target is really on the expenditure side. And I think uh, uh, if we look at the expenditure in the first two months, uh, that has been actually running... Uh, uh, well short of uh, the run rate that is targeted for the full year. So mm. actually expenditure will need to accelerate much more in the balance nine months if mm. the budget uh, uh, estimates are to be met. So so I think while there can be an undershoot on the overall borrowing target, it uh, can perhaps come from really a underachieving the expenditure target rather than uh, overachieving the uh, uh, revenue target. That's a great point. That's a great point, really, because we have only eight months left. Uh, and, the, uh, of course, uh, uh, revenue estimates uh, will have to come in February 1st itself. And uh, yes. uh, they may be running short at that time. Uh, Ashish, the more, bigger point I want to uh, get from you is the way the budget is once again trying to use public sector banks to lend more to MSMEs. I mean, PSU banks have to build in-house capacity to assess MSMEs for credit instead of external assessment. They take the lead in developing a new assessment model based on digital footprint, uh, higher mudra loans. Again, that also uh, will be... The arm twisting is more possible in the PSU bank case. Uh, is that one reason why banking stocks did badly? 
actually i don't think so i think uh, uh, really the uh, reaction to the budget and particularly to banking stocks was in my view for a couple of reasons uh, one was the fact that there were some expectations uh, uh, that there will be some sops for or, uh, deposits on the taxation front uh, and uh, that did not come through so i think mm. maybe it's a reaction to that the second is also really uh, what we are seeing in earnings coming through the banks over the past uh, uh, a uh, uh, few days so there yeah. has been uh, moderation in credit growth there has been moderation okay. in margins that is visible in banks so i think okay. that's where uh, 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 some of the tepidness in the banking sector okay. top performance is visible but, but not really uh, uh, because of okay. for, in my view of these budget announcements okay you know actually uh, ashish if you see the credit tax six gramin and some of the sfb uh, you know bad loan performance why even yes. the mighty bajaj finance the, you can yes. see the pressure on loan quality and at a context like this if you're going to be arm twisted to give higher msme credit when they are at sma 1 you are going to give them more credit that seems to be one of the reasons would you worry now that the credit quality cycle has bottomed out and we may begin to see more pressure on credit quality so uh, if you look at the announcement of for high credit for sma1 credit actually that again is uh, going to be backed by a government guarantee model right so this is uh, uh, similar to the uh, uh, kind of scheme CGTMS. that came in post uh, uh, yes post covid uh, uh, and uh, there uh, uh, um, actually i think it is uh, Uh, more beneficial for bank credit uh, quality rather than detrimental that uh, you will have uh, support of these government guarantee program for, for mm. msme credit so i don't really take it uh, negatively uh, mm. but your point is valid i think we have seen a bottoming out of uh, asset quality cycle uh, uh, we have had really uh, a dream run uh, in the last three years in terms of uh, uh, the kind of slippages that were visible uh, at uh, certain pockets whether it is uh, uh, small ticket personal loans microfinance loans there is uh, been an increase in delinquency and that's been what's been visible in the numbers that have been reported by uh, some okay. of the banks and nbfc Okay, I'm being warned. I'm out of time. So, very quick answer. Do you see deposit costs falling at all, or is that going to be the big bugbear for banks? I think uh, 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 banks have had a clear message that they have to grow deposits uh, to uh, grow loans. So, I think uh, it's unlikely that in this environment, deposit cost is going to come down. So, deposit cost is going to come down or go up. They will have to. <laughs> Yes, so they uh, so it's unlikely it will come down. Uh, they unlikely will need oh, to sorry. come. Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I missed that. Yeah, mm -hmm. unlikely to come down. In which case, margins can be under pressure uh, for the banking system, right? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, out of time, I would have gone on on this. Thank you very much, Ashish Gupta, for joining us uh, on a mix of mac macros and markets, and of course, the banking system itself. Wrap up on Bazaar on that note. Chart Pastors coming up. <laughs>